Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I hope you're all doing great. Today I would like to talk to you about minimalism and what does minimalism mean to somebody who loves fashion and uh, fashion trends and luxury goods like myself and also a few disadvantages that minimalism brings along. First of all, I don't really like to label myself. But I have watched many uh, YouTube videos on minimalism and I came to the conclusion that I may be a minimalist as well, but a very different one. <laughs> you know, I, you see these minimalists on YouTube sitting in an empty room and uh, talking about minimalism and have a very modest uh, lifestyle, which I appreciate and admire. But I am not like that. I mean, I live, my dad always uh, says actually, uh, with me he has the feeling I am in process of moving because my home looks so empty to him. But uh, he should see those minimalists on YouTube who sit really in an empty oh, a flat. I think minimalism is not about uh, how much or how little you own. And it is not about how expensive or how cheap uh, your items are. It is about how much you appreciate, how much you love the items you surround yourself with. And do these items really bring value to your life? My friends are always very, you know, uh, surprised when they come to my home and see how uh, small my wardrobe for example is you know many p people assume that my wardrobe is for some reason uh, very big but it is very small because I am very particular with things that I buy it takes me a lot of time and this is actually one disadvantage that I will get into it um, it takes me a lot of time to you know get something to buy something you know, I overthink things, I never buy things on, on a whim, uh, do research on them, and it doesn't really uh, matter how much they are. You know, it can be uh, just a jumper from H&M, or it can be an expensive bag from um, Chanel, you know. I really take my time, and I don't like to um, add things to my wardrobe or to my home that I don't use on a regular uh, basis. So things that I bring home I have to use really regularly otherwise I am not happy with that you know I'm just not happy with that. So I don't like clutter and I don't like to surround myself with a lot of things but at the same time I really enjoy luxury goods. To many people that may be controversial, you know, minimalism and luxury, but to me it is not at all. To me, uh, minimalism doesn't really prohibit indulging one's desires. You know, you can be a minimalist and still enjoy fine things in life, enjoy luxury goods in life. You know, I, uh, for example, love luxury bags, you know, and I have a few of those and they bring a lot of joy into my life. But as a fashion lover and trend lover, it can get exhausting as well, you know, because you have to be really focused on things that you buy. Uh, but on the other hand, you like to change up things and don't, uh, you know, because fashion is all about fun and, uh, you know, experimenting with uh, clothes. But uh, if you are a minimalist and you are concerned about, uh, you know, having uh, too many things, so this is a bit of conflict, isn't it? Um, the way I um, deal with it is, first of all, you know, buying maybe less trendy things and if I buy into a trend, I um, tend to buy it very soon. So let's say something is uh, going to be on trend for two years. If you buy it, you know, one year later than it was on, it, it became a trend, you are going to use it only for one year. 
So it is good to foresee the trend and buy things very soon. I don't know if that makes sense to you, but for me, it works really well. For example, with my Stuart Reitzman shoes, you know, with those shoes, you know, they are now very trendy, but I bought them one year ago. So they, uh, I really got the most out of them and I am assuming they are going to be on trend next year as well. So then I got three years of use out of these shoes. Another way to, you know, change up things and have more fun with fashion is um, selling things. For example, I had this very beautiful Chloe wallet or purse and I loved it for a few years, actually almost six years or so. And uh, then, you know, I got really excited about the Chanel purse or wallet and I wanted to have a Chanel purse. So I got the Chanel purse and I uh, sold my Chloe uh, bag or uh, purse or wallet or whatever. So to me, minimalism doesn't mean you have to stick to items that you have for a lifetime, you know. But now let's talk about disadvantages of minimalism and also difficulties that many people have with, uh, with uh, minimalism. First of all, let's be honest, nowadays one of the, you know, main activities, fun activities that people do is going out uh, shopping, you know, going shopping. So if you are a minimalist, that can uh, become a stressful thing actually, and it can be frustrating. You go shopping whole day, come home empty handed. Of course, that frustrates, uh, frustrates many people. To me, it's not frustrating at all because I enjoy strolling around and, uh, you know, do uh, window, watch, uh, window um, shopping and don't buying anything, you know, that I have always been like that. Another thing is getting presents. Pre getting presents can be actually quite stressful because you can't get many things that you don't really need. And this is actually a very tricky one and a difficult one. And I myself struggle with it as well. But there are ways to overcome that. For example, you, I had a party just a few uh, weeks ago because now I'm pregnant and I had a baby shower party but without calling it baby shower so I called it a party my friends came over they saw the whole you know decoration and they uh, loved it but they didn't bring anything uh, for the baby because they didn't know that the baby shower part. Um, this way <laughs> I uh, tricked them uh, uh, this way I didn't collect things that I don't need so this is a way to, you know, um, not getting presents. <laughs> and another thing, another way is if you tell people what you really need, but sometimes you don't really need anything, do you? Or some things that you need or you would like to have are very expensive and uh, uh, people can't really get, get them for you, <laughs> like a Porsche. And the other thing is with uh, for especially this is a very hard one for women, um, cosmetic and uh, beauty products. This is really tricky, and I got sidetracked. As I said, I have always been very conscious about my shopping, but when it comes to fa um, beauty products, I, I got sidetracked. And uh, mainly because of YouTube, <laughs> uh, because there are so many temptations, there are so many beautiful, uh, you know, YouTubers, uh, beauty YouTubers, and I love to watch beauty YouTubers. And um, yeah, and I ended up buying many items that I don't really, I didn't really use, and I ended up, you know, decluttering them. But having said that, I still love watching those videos, but I found a you know, way to deal with it. I collect those uh, recommendations and you know, uh, when uh, my items or my products are empty and finished, 
Then I looked at their recommendations and, um, and select one or two of those items. And um, I usually, um, to be honest, I love uh, buying one product. For example, at the moment I have only one foundation. Uh, to many of you it may be uh, crazy because uh, I know that many of you love uh, collecting many different foundations. But I have only one foundation. I use that app. This is a Chanel foundation illumination or something like that. I don't know. So after I have finished that, then I go on and buy another one. But, and also the same applies, uh, believe it or not, I have only one lipstick and this is the Chanel lipstick uh, that I'm wearing now and uh, um, maybe two lip glosses and two bronzers and uh, maybe I think two um, highlighters and so on. So I don't have many things and I love that. And you know how excited I get when uh, I hit a pan you know, uh, or I finish a product, it's really exciting. So this is how I see minimalism. Please also share your opinion and uh, let me know what is your opinion on minimalism in the description box below. I would love to hear actually your opinion. Thank you very much for watching and I hope I uh, see you on my next one. Take care. Bye bye.